Hi, in this video I'll talk about uh, deriving the equation for normal reaction in an inclined plane. You can see a block sliding up a plane, the weight mg is shown as acting downwards, vertically down, and the normal reaction is perpendicular to the surface of the plane. So draw a triangle and put a block on it and draw a line vertically downwards which is mg. Let the plane be at an angle theta to the horizontal. That's the first step. The second step is, since the block pushes on the plane and the plane pushes back on the block, draw a black line as shown there, which is perpendicular to the incline. So that becomes OC. And therefore, angle ACO becomes 90 minus theta because angle at B is 90 degrees. So 90 plus 90 minus theta plus theta will sum up to 180 degrees. After that, plug in a point D. So DOC becomes a new triangle. The angle at C is already 90 minus theta. The angle at D is 90 degrees because MG is perpendicular. Therefore, the angle at O should be theta by inference. And the total angle will be 180 degrees for that triangle. So this is the most important thing. We have derived theta. The rest is pretty easy. Drop a perpendicular called ED so that the angle at E is 90 degrees. So all we have to do now is name the hypotenuse in that triangle EDO. And that hypotenuse is MG. So we have to find the base and the perpendicular of this triangle. The base of this triangle is OE, and which is equal to MG cos theta because mg is the hypotenuse. The perpendicular in this triangle EDO is ED and that's equal to mg sin theta. We have now found the components of the weight which are acting perpendicular to the plane and along the direction of the plane. Now we just redraw those arrows. So mg sin theta is drawn as if it's uh, coming from the center of gravity of the block. You can see the red arrow up there and we draw the normal reaction N uh, which is uh, equal and opposite force by the blue plane on the green block. So the blue plane pushes back on the green block with the same equal and opposite force to mg cos theta. Now the friction force is a function of the normal reaction N. It's not a function of the weight. So we have to be very careful about uh, drawing the friction force. So here the friction force is equal to mu into N as shown in the red arrow pointing down. The red arrow is pointing down because it's assumed that the block is moving upwards like in the animation. But if the block is sliding down in another situation, then the mu n will exactly be opposite to the direction of motion and it will point upwards. We have to take care to see which is the direction of motion. I hope this was useful. Thanks and have a great day.